All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to EA Sports MMA. God, this is a blast from the past. And uh, just with us recently getting told that we'll be getting Fedor if you pre-order the game in UFC 5, I thought, why not Why not show off his texture in this game early? Because <laughs> this is the same texture that he's going to be uh, flaunting in UFC 5. EA, I've got it dug down somewhere in the vault, so they just unearthed it rather than giving Fedor a ring and asking to scan his face into a, a new face into the game so this is the texture he's going to have so there's an achievement in this game if you can beat Fedor on the hardest setting you know you, you don't lock an achievement you either knock him out just beat him TKO him or submit him you get a bunch of different achievements and, but it's fucking hard like I've already done it so the achievement won't pop if I beat him but what I'll do I'll give myself three attempts and then if I, if I don't get it after the third attempt it's staying in because of the video will be fucking really long otherwise. Depending on how, if I get bullshitted or not, I might extend it to five attempts, we'll see. But either way, if I, if I lose all my attempts, it's staying in. So let's go and have a look at the options here. Just make sure it's on the other setting. Legend is the highest it goes. And it's fucking difficult. It's, this took me ages to do. Because you can just get fucking slept in, in a couple of shots from Fedor. His power is ridiculous. Now... This was EA's first attempt at a at an MMA game, and just for the record, like, cause it, it didn't really do that well. And Dana White was quoted to say after it didn't do that well that he will never ever work with EA again, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious. And here we are, five UFC uh, EA UFC games in, and he's still he, like, cause there was this game, and then he said that like I'll, I'll never work with EA again, and then THQ took the license for a bit, and and. You know, did the UFC undisputed games and fucking knock them out the park pretty much, especially the third one. And then he went after saying he wouldn't use EA again. He he didn't use THQ anymore, and then he went back to EA, which is just like fucking lunacy. You know what I mean? But um, this game did some things really well that I like. Um, and some, you know, it's not the greatest game, but right off the bat, I love that you can throw your strikes in this game with the right analog stick, like. Uh, a a AKA uh, like fight night, all the fight night games, total punch control. I love that you can do it in this. Um, obviously, you can't do it in the more modern UFC games because the right analog stick is is occupied by all the ground game and stuff like that, and the slipping and whatnot. But I'm sure they could find a way. I was thinking about this the other day. Like, obviously, we're not going to get it in UFC five, but like, where where could we put the if you want, if I mean, obviously, have the choice if you want to use the, the analog sticks or just stick to the old school face buttons for UFC games. But for those who might want to use the analog stick to throw their strikes, how would you do the ground game? You know, like, like maybe the the ground game controls would switch when you hit the deck to the D-pad because the, let's face it, the D-pad is only used for touching gloves and doing cringe fucking emotes. And I never use the cringe emotes. I'll touch gloves, but I'll never use the cringe emotes. So maybe there's some kind of system where it could like shift to the D-pad as soon as the fight hits the ground and, and do your transitions that way. I don't know. But this game found a way around it, but it, as, as a sacrifice, the ground game in this game is very, very basic. You know, it's easy to do, easy to learn. It's not that really in-depth. It's just a matter of like time and your button press at the right time. That's it. Like a vibration goes off and you just react to that. But... Anyway, it did a few things right anyway, or, or good that I've never been done before. No MMA game has, has done total punch control since this game. Um, and I just like a couple of these options here. Look uh, at that, you can like change, you know, obviously you've got the strike force cage, you've got different rule sets. I know you can do some of this in, in the more modern UFC offerings. Um, you can change the, you know, once you pick different venues, like the shape of the cage, let's just see. You can have circular cages, you can have rings. Um, where is you can have like a like a pride style ring. I love this one. This is like it's it's a nod to pride, I think. And you know, depending on which venues that you use. So if we use the strike force venue, you get a different announcer compared to the Japanese arena. So in this this venue you get Jimmy Lennon Jr. announcing your fighters. But if we were to go to say like a pride setup like this we'd get the legendary uh, Lenny Hart the Pride the crazy lady from Pride announcing your names uh, you know she's always she's done announcements in things like I think the latest Tekken game if you don't know who she is and she's done I think some anime stuff as well but she's more known for for a, a legendary ring announcing in the Pride uh, in Pride Fighting Championships 
So I just love that they had this little they added this little stuff in there. There's a couple of things in this game that don't get the acknowledgement um, that it should. You know, it wasn't great, but it did some things okay. Anyway, I'm fucking waffling. So CPU difficulty on legendary. So let's get me head taken off by Fedor. <laughs> Decent roster in the game as well. Um just have a quick scan through here. You've got Alistair Overeem, Kevin the Monster, Randleman, Brett Rogers, Bob Sapp, Ken Shamrock, Tim Sylvia, fucking hell, Tim Sylvia, Fabrizio Verdum, Hidehiko Yoshida, Arlovsky, Josh Barnett, Grandy Couture. Look at that. That's just heavyweights. I'll, I'll, I'll just upload some more footage of this game over the t over the next couple of weeks, just as like one-off videos. But oh, Andreas, Granny Ota. Cranny Otakas, I've never heard of him before. Bobby Lashley, WWE Bobby Lashley. King Mo Jeff Monson, the snowman. You like watching people get fucked for free. And Alistair Overeem, the demolition man. So I'll pick Alistair. Because I can insert some awesome music that I used to walk out to. Back in his pride days, the uh, Too Hot to Handle theme. That he was known to walk, that the Golden Glory team were, were fond of walking out to. And also, I'll, in, I'll inject some of Fedor's old Pride entrance music as well. Let's get it off. For his entrance. I think it has music. Play. Even though I've turned off the music, it'll still have like the default tracks playing, so I'll have to just try and fudge that and play over the top Hello, of it. Hello, everyone. I'm Moro Ronaldo alongside the legend Frank Shamrock, and we are ready to call what should be a tremendous main event. Moro Ronaldo with Sham Frank Shamrock on the commentary booth. Moro doesn't do a bad job in this game at doing his commentary. So for now, I'll, I'll say I'll, I'll take three attempts at this, but it might get extended to five, depending on how, how quickly or often I get KO'd. But either way, if I, if I lose all my, my attempts at staying, it's just a bit of like a fun video. Each, like I say, the achievement, uh, it won't pop because I've already got it. But just more, just this video is more to just see Fedor's texture more than anything that we're going to be getting. Jimmy Lennon Jr.'s lips actually move in this game, un we unlike Undisputed. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, with a background in Muay Thai, fighting out of England, Alistair Demolition Man Overeem. So if you, if you thought Undisputed you or the UFC games were, were bad at him, but reading... Oh, fucking hell, tried to touch gloves there. Fedor have a none of it. Going straight for the takedown, nice what a scumbag. This game is absolutely murder for input reading, so if you hate that stuff, God, you, you're going to fucking hate this game. Like, if you crank the difficulty up all the way, the AI input reads the shit out of you, and you can parry in this game as well, and it tends to do it a lot. If I get a submission put on me, it's game over. Like, getting out of submissions on this game in, in on Legend is almost oh, next, next nice to impossible. Uh, it, it, it's not impossible, but it's very, very difficult, and like, I can really ever get out of a submission. I mean, look, the striking's a little bit wild, like in it, you know what I mean? Oh, and I just can't stay there, just trading with Fedor like that. So I'm using the analog sticks to to throw me strikes here, and that can be done for kicks as well. Takedown. Another takedown for Fedor. Now I tend to just sit here and wait for the AI to to try and transition, and then I, right I deny the transition, take its stamina away, and then that's the only chance of getting up really when it's got no stamina. It's that hit registration on some of the strikes is god awful. Emilianenko steps in and pairs up those underhooks. Another takedown. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna go for an armbar. I think I denied it. Oh. Oh, he delivers that left shot to the body. 
Again, just kind of deplete his stamina because he's just going to... If I try and force a stand up now, he's just going to deny it and just makes me... He'll probably deny this one and he had barely any stamina there. He nails him with a lethal looking right hand. Another armbar attempt. Try getting up now. Should have got that one. Oh, he parried me there. Look at that bullshit. Denied on the overhand. Beautifully done. Oh, body shots. He's just so fucking powerful. They're not leaving much space here as we are being treated to some clinch work. Emelianenko slams him to the canvas. It's just taking me down at will here. Yeah, haven't done a good job of stuffing these takedowns. I'm just constantly worried about getting my lights turned out because it, it can just happen so easily. Should get that stand up. The game always dumps me on this side of the screen as well, which I can't the stand. Just doesn't deliver the intended impact. Oh, managed to stop that one. He blocks the rear front kick. Oh, see, look at this fucking. Look at these shots. He just covers so much Holder distance. Scores with a shot to the head. Parry again there. Another Tip take that. Oh, got away with that one. But he's able to block that head kick delivered with bad intentions. Just make him blow his stamina out trying to scramble. Oh, and he's unable to block that rear front kick. He blocks the rear front kick. He did, oh, he got the what am I doing? I forgot how to run in and finish him. He's going to get out of this. I mean, this means nothing at, at the moment. All he can still fucking lay me out, even though we've hurt him. We are in the final 60 seconds of this round. To drain that stamina, because if I try and stand up, he's just going to pull me in. Yeah, you want to talk about like fucking Skynet AI? This game has got it. it should be enough. Come on, see what I mean? He just pulls you in like that. Get off me, you fuck. 30 seconds remain in the round. Referee will cause a stand up if you're fucking around too much on the ground. Blocks the rear front kick. Beautiful counter to the takedown attempt. If we were in the pride rules here, I'd be able to knee to the head. Oh yeah, he's doing some but for now, I can only I can throw little, shots. little shots like this. But I tend to just... He tends to try and transition when and you're going for your shots. Well, we didn't get fucking brutally KO'd in the first round. But it could easily happen in this round. Oh, this is the combination we dropped him with. Left hook, right straight, left hook. The fucking hell am I doing? Look, <laughs> I'm just standing in the middle of the cage. Try to make him desperate while you look for mistakes. I know you ain't gonna be happy, sunshine, if you let this fight go to the judges because they ain't gonna give you the win. Only you can do that. Get out there. Missing ready? a forearm there, like fucking big Let's boss from Metal Gear Solid 5. And this battle continues. We're gonna to touch gloves this time, round. mate. He's not having none of it, is he? blocks the rear front kick. I mean, look at that distance that he covers. Fucking hell. Nice looking left jab. Oh, and that's the end of that. <laughs> that's how much he just constantly looks like. Oh, he managed to survive. Jesus. Like the distance that he just covers, like he can't get away. No good. It's, uh, you might be thinking use head movements, make him slip, parry him. Doesn't matter. If, even if you make the AI miss and try and counter back the AI, he'll just like parry your. Like, it'll parry after that, even though it shouldn't re be real in a position to do that because you've just parried it. Is a well fighter and the AI in this game is comes with his experience in the Russian art of Sambo. Now, Sambo has received a lot more attention recently because of fighters like Fedor, and deservingly so. It's a very effective method of combat. Overing lands right a beautiful-looking body. body shot. 
I feel like I'm going to get clipped if I go for body shots. He I'm trying to like complete kick. that stamina though. This should get interesting as they now clinch. There you go. That's it. He's going to go for a takedown. Managed to stop it. Emilianenko throws a nice left punch. Just to try and drain that stamina when he, by parrying these knees. Left punch. Try and Over swim that arm underneath. He denied it. Into the double underhooks. Try again. Got it that time. Turn him off the cage. They are jockeying for position along the cage. The two come apart. Hey, you go. He connects with an uppercut. Oh, he gets it again. Just powered through that. Same process again. Just try and wait for him to burn out the stamina. Clean break. Come on, break it up. McCarthy has enough. Once us up. Here comes the fucking haymakers. Oh, he was looking to turn his lights out with that overhand. Nice block. Emelianenko has yet to go for a submission attempt. It oh. seems to me he's not comfortable the end. in that regard. It's not a rule in MMA that you have to go for a submission attempt in every fight. But I've seen some easy opportunities that he passed up. Emelianenko has been taking his opponent to take down City. He has really dominated in that department. He lands a nice looking left hook to his head. That's it! Oh, it's a nice combination. Got him backing up. Oh, beautiful. Keep doing that shit. I keep backing up. Worse. Should be running in for the finish. And he recovers again. You can get, like, straight out, like, straight up knockouts. It doesn't always end with a TKO. You can actually knock them out, but it's very... The timing has to be very sp specific. They have to be, like, queuing up a punch, and you have to, like, land it just as they're, like, starting to throw I found it's it's just so difficult. You tend to just get it by accident in like in the middle of an exchange. Oh, there's a nice looking punch. Rather right than to the like head. trying to like deliberately time one, like you know. It'll probably happen to me in well, a few minutes. A <laughs> I'll probably get knocked out. You'll see one in a few minutes when I get fucking slept. Again, the game puts me on this side, it always dumps me on this fucking side. Oh good combo. Oh, Harry bullshit. Overy, looking to gauge distance with the jab. There's the jab. Think of it like fencing. You find your opening and you jump in with your sword. He lands with a rear front kick. There you go. That's it. Look at this parry shit. Look at it. Oh, this is a nice sprawl. Hips down, back straight. He's stopping. It's fucking infuriating when you, you, the flow of your combinations is constantly getting interrupted with parries. It's fucking infuriating. It's one thing. I, one of the things I really don't like about this is how Harry fucking heavy it is. Overing, successful with that rear front kick to the body. Like that, you see, he was in like a body hurt animation there, and he still fucking parried me. Hey, you Hits him with a solid left hand to the head. Emilianenko scores with a shot to the head. Round number two is complete. Well, we've survived so far. We've not been slept yet. That was the second knockdown. Nice combination there. Oh, when he clips me with one back. Oh, look at that big left up and then an uppercut. Can't believe we actually survived that. That's normally game over there. Like when he gets on top of you. Keep up the pressure. He's lost, but he doesn't know it yet. If we lose this fight, we'll we'll switch up up the venue and jump in the uh, in the pride ring or the the air quotes pride ring, Japanese boxing ring. Are you ready? Are you? Not even but gonna bother extend extending my glove this time. This one could be headed to the judges. The final round is underway. Denied on the overhand. Beautifully done. So the game's gonna fucking dump me on the right side now. It always does. My weakest side as well. I hate being on this side. Great combination.
combination. Was a nice combination. Oh, head kick didn't land. Look at that bullshit. Look at that shit. <laughs> The beginning of the end here. Defense as he blocks it over him. Way to be. Parries a head kick like it's nothing. Oh. Connects with the overhead. Nice hook. You're, like every, you're lucky to get off like a. Oh, that oh that's the good. end. He wants to leave the judges out of this that's fight. it. It's what over. That's it. <laughs> it's all over. He might have a he oh my might god, I can't believe I've actually survived twice. That's insane. Like I was about to say, then you you can't. The game doesn't let you get off like Emilio a three punch combination very often. It'll parry at least body. like this, the third or fourth Keep strike. Get off me. He blocks the real front kick. Overy lands a right punch. Hey, you go. Keep me combos a bit short that I'm going to try. Left off, right straight, right he straight, left off. Nice left punch. Try and keep it. Oh. All right, it looks like we're going to be in for some clinch fighting as they've come together now, and this should be interesting. Yeah, keep them going. to burn the clock out and hold me up against the fucking cage. It's going to take me down they this time. They are jockeying for position. Emelianenko lights up this crowd with a devastating slam takedown. Going for the armbar. They should get a get up off that. Great technique on the sprawl. Great position. Great posture. There was no way he was going down here. God, the parries are just unbelievable. It's just fucking overdrive. He avoids the takedown attempt. He lands with a rear front kick. He stuffs the takedown attempt. Over him, scores with a beautifully delivered rear front kick. Oh man, he did a great job in avoiding that takedown. But he's a head kick. <laughs> I think There's he was. I don't know. As he just defends the takedown attempt. Browsing the supermarket shelves. Like it's nothing. Emilianenko is really turning this fight into a clinic when it comes to the sweet science, although not so sweet for his opponent. Wow, what a oh. right hand! That could be it right here. Oh, and he recovers the half guard. Bastard. I think that was our only chance. Maybe that knockdown will uh, go in the judges' favour, but I was hoping we'd be able to like, like finish him. I'm gonna have one more attempt at it. Exchange on the feet if he fucking just lets me up instead of doing this fucking bullshit. Get off me! Nice looking knee strike to the body. Come on, John, stand us up. He's a fuck. He's We're fuck some up. action and fundamentally, it's strike to pass and pass to strike. Like I don't know how he's That's denying the me there when he's got fucking no stamina. Emilianenko lands a left punch to the head. Get off me, you fuck! Get off. Well, he's just gonna fucking keep doing this. We're going to the judges' scorecard. Look how they burned the whole fucking minutes out there. Here we go with the collection of At least we got another knockdown. Oh, we do for time. Might have one more. Show off the uh, the Japanese Japanese event. We can get soccer kicks to the right, face there when they go down here, there. Once again, is Jimmy Lennon Jr. By
well, we actually beat him on the first attempt. It's a shame it wasn't a, we didn't stop him, but the fucking uh, when the AI is on the harder set and it'll recover it. When you run in for the finish there, it'll recover a shitload. Like it's very rare you can just run in and finish it like that. And because it's fade on as well. Let's have a look at some of these replays. Because it's fade or his stats are jacked all the way up. So he's always gonna recover. Unless he's got fuck all stamina. Oh strikes there, right, straight left up for the knockdown. Let's have one more. And then we'll call will and lose. Well uh, I'll just show off the uh, the pride ring and then we'll call it a day. Alright, so we want Japanese Horizon Arena and box it in. Good to go. Different rules now, so no elbows allowed on the ground. And ground kicks are allowed and knees to the head of a downed opponent are allowed as well. Brutal, just the way I like it. Same again. Let's Over even on. fade or so let's hope we don't get cleaned in the first <laughs> first couple of uh, exchanges here. Frank and of course the pride rounds were different. It was an open and ten minute round and then a five minute round. As opposed to three five minute rounds, like in the UFC and, and US rules. Uh, championship fights with an open and 10 minute round, and then two five minute rounds. I just spoke over Lenny Hart's introduction. I should be ashamed of myself. God, she's fucking. That voice is amazing. She's great. Of course, UFC ready. Undisputed 3 the the nailed the pride aesthetic in that game. They had everything right down to the announcers, uh, the announcer, the uh, the introductions. They've been talking about this one for a long time. Just not going to touch gloves again. Event, <laughs> and it now. Oh, good sprawl here. Good hips. Good position. And the game He's just dumps me on the right immediately. We don't even get to throw a shot, and it's like, no, you're going on the weakest side now. Emilianenko is a well-rounded fighter, and part of his success comes with his experience in the Russian art of sambo. Sambo has received a lot more attention. Trying to kick that body a little bit, but if he parries it, like it leaves me open to like a, a huge a punch. I mean, every one of his punches is just kind of like some kind of special move. All right, so it doesn't really matter what I fucking get it with. Followed by a second five-minute round. Look at the distance that oh, he covers. Man, he did a great job in avoiding that takedown. I wonder, can I like? bait the camera into doing something else because I know it's going to dump me on the right side the right can I like change the, the camera by like taking his back or anything and then just stand it up to like trick it into putting me on the left all oh, this time I'll just let him sit Over. down here and just waste his right fucking stamina is is wearing the blue ones. Just get me some wow, knees to the head going looking knee right to the head We're seeing some ground action, and fundamentally, it's strike to pass, up. and pass to strike. That's the key. He delivers a well-executed right hand to the body. Oh, this is a nice sprawl. Hips down. Oh, he just clocked him in the cranium with that knee strike. Good jab. He blocks the rear front kick. Emilianenko has been thwarted at every attempt at a takedown in this round. Yeah, at this point, he is just not going to get the takedown. What he should do is refocus and wait for a later opportunity. He's going to go for a takedown now, though. There it goes. I managed to deny it. Try and waste his stamina out. Just nice so looking punch to the body. And turn him. The AI is fucked. It'll just try and reverse me otherwise. That might be the chance. Get that arm under, swim it under, turn him to the ropes. Hence the name, the over -under. Oh, and it shafted me. Over I thought it was going to spit me out on the left hand side there, but it's like, no, you're staying the on the right. Oh, nice head kick landed. Kick. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Ooh, 
Ooh, that one looked like it was going right for the good rear front kick. Look at that, like he missed then and he still managed hey, to parry me. Got seven minutes or less left in the round. Well done. This is bad. Oh man, he did a great job in avoiding that takedown. Oh, that overhand was meant to drop him, but he does a great job of blocking it. He shoots in for the takedown, and that's a beautifully executed sprawl. That's takedown defense 101. Beautiful counter to the takedown attempt. He's fucking spamming these clinches, isn't he? Here's the end. Relentless fucking hay because has been stifled in the takedown department. You talk about a kick to the body. You know, I thought he might have had one by now, but I guess you're right. He just cannot get See, the went. Oh, Those oh, go for a body counter there, but he just fucking him. parried me. And that right there is the reason why you wear a mouth guard in MMA. He blocks the rear front kick. Yes, yes, that's nice. Ah, oh, this is takedown defense 101. Good job in blocking the takedown attempt. Over it. Lands a beautiful hook to the head. Oh man, he did a great job in avoiding that takedown. Oh, he fucking got that one. Gets his first takedown of the fight. He's bound to get one of them. He won't fucking stop. He's caught with the left. Referee Yuji Shimada, that's his his model. Has seen enough of this bullshit. He wants us up. Over him. Misses with the rear front kick. Oh, he does a good job of targeting the body with Ooh, that hook. Nearly turned me lights out with the overhand. Look at this fucking parrying. Fucking relentless. He blocks the rear front kick. Beautiful counter to the takedown attempt. Wow, able to score with a beautifully delivered hook. Look at this fucking bullshit. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Took a fucking soccer kick to the face there. He just kick just like I'm actually trying to block I've got me block up to block them and he's just punching through me block. Like those punches on the feet there, you're probably screaming at me saying block as punches, it's like they're just going through the block. He just hits that hard in the game. Oh, he throws a That's what's nice so difficult there. about it. Like, even if he doesn't land on your flush, you, you're going to get fucking knocked out. Not getting as many shots off of this. He's just fucking parrying me like crazy. He's able to thwart that takedown attempt. His punches just do massive damage, even though he's got no fucking stamina as well. He stops the takedown attempt. Emilianenko blocks the rear front kick. Oh, got him backing up with that he shit. He lands a jab to the head. Executed right hand to the head. Ooh, that one looked.
looked like it was going right for the head. Good defense as he blocks it over him. He blocks the rear front kick. That's nice. The fucking speedy Gonzalez in somebody's corner there. Overy doesn't connect with the rear front kick. Oh, he delivers that left shot to the body. He's able to thwart that takedown attempt. Oh. Ooh, that one looked like it was going right for the head. Good defense as he blocks it over him. He lands a punch to the head. To oh. the head. Emilianenko lands a left punch to the head. In the minutes to try and close in, he just starts parrying. He lands a nice looking left hook to his head. He throws a nice uppercut. Emilianenko lands a punch. There's a textbook sprawl as he defends the takedown attempt beautifully. That's the conclusion Ooh. of round number gonna one. Gonna go in for a flying knee there, but it counts with me. All right, let's take a look at some replays from the recent action. Oh, that big... Oh, and the fucking soccer kick, soccer kick to the face. It's brutal. Oh, that should have been it right there. Can't believe we actually survived that. You and I both know you didn't take that round. You need to start turning things around immediately. This fight will go back. That was a great way to open this fight, I tell you. Keep the pressure on him. Try to make... Fucking hell, Mr. Cockney is <laughs> Fedor's cornerman. Great fight, my son. Great fight. Oh man, this is fight is going is to the fuck? deep water. Can I actually stay on this side of the screen for more than 10 seconds? Oh, no, it's sprawl, not going to let me because hit, now we have to try position. and get up. He's <laughs> not going down. And the camera's going to put me on the right. There you go. The guard was up the it's like every disadvantage against me. The intended impact. Emilianenko throws a nice kick. Well done. He blocks the rear front kick. Ah, oh, this is takedown defense 101. He shoots in for the takedown, and that's a beautifully executed sprawl. That's takedown defense 101. Wow, he counters that takedown attempt with a brilliantly executed sprawl. Overy, successful with that rear front kick to the body. jab finds its target. A jab in MMA is much more vicious than one in boxing. There's only one inch of padding on those gloves. Nice! Oh man, he did a great job in avoiding that takedown. <laughs> 
Here's a nice looking punch. Oh, he was looking to it's the end. This is it. Oh, it's a final round no That's the end. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he hasn't pounded me out yet doing any of this. Like, I've managed to survive all of the knockdowns so far, which is fucking unheard of. Like, once he sort of closes in on you like that and he takes a big chunk of your stamina, uh, your block health away, and you can't get away from him, and then he just keeps hitting you, like, you're gonna get fucking knocked down. You constantly have to be fucking, have open space behind you so you can escape. Well, we'll get to be on this side for a couple of seconds. Until he goes for a takedown and we have to sprawl. Beautifully executed right hand to the head. Nice! Oh, I thought we were going to have a timber moment there, but he was able to block that head kick delivered with bad intentions. Emilianenko delivers a nice looking body is. shot. Closing in for the kill. <laughs> They're at close quarters now, and here we are seeing some take down. work here. That's it! That's it! That was a great-looking knee to the body. Nice combo of knees. Oh, we actually they now me create off. separation. Nicely executed rear front kick. Oh. Emilianenko scores with a shot to the head. Oh, that overhand was meant to drop him, but he does a great job of blocking it. Oh, there's a nice looking punch right to the head. Whoa, nice job of blocking the high kick. Oh, he's got the canvas for the to charge an uppercut up there, but he fucking went underneath me. He nails him with a lethal-looking right hand. We're run out of time, coming to the end of the fight. We fight might actually, actually lose Get this one. He's going to get another knockdown here. Over it, connects with a beautifully placed punch. Knocked out right at the end. Oh, and he's obviously going to recover. Oh. oh, there's that other knockdown that he got. The uppercuts are definitely like the most damaging punches, like, but it's just fucking be being able to get them in without him parrying you. Well, it's up to the judges to determine the winner of this main event. Let's make it official now with our announcer. That's one and one. We'll have the rematch down the line, but for now, I think I'm going to leave it there because I'll, I'll go at this all night. Honestly, this is like some Dark Souls kind of shit. <laughs> you know, it's like Dark Souls bosses just killing you over and over again, and you just won't stop until you've done it. That's what this is like. Fedor's the last boss in a fucking Dark Souls game. Oh, look at that. That is fucking brutal. Oh, that left uppercut. Are you going to see my one? Oh, left up, right straight, drops him. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.